New information tonight about that scandal involving a D.C. council member with connections to anti-Semitic views. Trayon White will likely not be disciplined by his colleagues for his statements and actions. That's because a majority of the council does not support punishing him. But White may still be in some trouble with the Office of Campaign Finance. So city auditors are looking to see if he violated city code by donating to a Nation of Islam <coughs> event in Chicago. Here's the problem. That money came from a pot that is supposed to only be used to benefit D.C. residents. WUSA 9's Michael Quander tells us what led up to all of this. Mike? Yeah, Leslie, there were three things over the course of one month. First, Councilmember Treyon White claimed a rich Jewish family controlled the weather. Then he apologized for it and agreed to go on a tour at the Holocaust Museum. But White admits he left the guided tour early because a reporter show up, showed up. And that didn't sit so well with some Jewish leaders. Lastly, it was revealed that White's office donated hundreds of dollars to a Nation of Islam event in Chicago, where the group's leader called Jews his enemy. His educational values and his upbringing taught him better than that. People we spoke to who live in Ward 8 say Trayon White was wrong for his anti-Semitic comments about Jews controlling the weather. The Rothschilds controlling the climate. Sometimes we have freedom of speech and then we do make mistakes. Yesterday, we spoke to the head of the Jewish Community Relations Council who said patience is running thin. The organization is calling on White to reject Louis Farrakhan and another Jewish group is asking White to take back the $500 donation that he gave to the Nation of Islam. At this point, however, it is unclear if White plans to do any of that. And what if he doesn't do that? I think he, then I think he will always have this very public stain on his record and it will be something that a lot of people will not forgive. At 33, White is the youngest lawmaker on the 13-person council. He represents the city's most economically disadvantaged and largely African-American ward. White was born and raised in Southeast, serving two terms on the city's board of education and became a council member last year. But despite any of his accomplishments, many say White does not deserve to get a pass on this issue. You have to watch what you say out here when it comes to politics. Yeah, now we've reached out to all of the city council members, but we're having a hard time, I have to tell you, nailing down why so many of them are uh, are choosing not to do anything or have any disciplinary action um, in this case. Now, but what I can tell you is that we're going to continue to continue pushing for answers to keep asking questions. And I can tell you right now, this story is far from over. Michael Quander, WUSA 9. All right.